right okay uh good good uh, afternoon everyone okay so for this this time around we're going to be looking at the introductory to introduction to computer networking and then we'll also look at certain components that are found in computer networking all right okay so to start with we'll start by understanding what computer network is so computer network is just um, a connection of just two or more autonomous computers like uh, if you can see in this uh, diagram here where we have the networking like you connect co your computers to one or two autonomous computers okay so computer can be just uh, geographical located anywhere anywhere yeah then um, we have other thing that we usually use in computer which is uh, LAN MAN and WAN okay so network in small geographical area like uh, in a room a building or a campus it is called a LAN so if you're using a network that is just able to accommodate a small particular uh, place that one it is uh, usually use LAN, which is just uh, a local local area network. Okay, then the network in a city is called MAN. So a network that is used to co to connect all de electronic device within the city. That one we usually call it MAN, which is a metropolitan area network. A network that is spread geographically, like countrywide. So such a network is what we call one because it covers country across the globe, which is called one, which is wide wide area network. Okay. Now let's look at some of the application of networks. So we usually apply networks in uh, resource sharing. If you are sharing resources, it can either be an hardware that is computing resource a disk a printer then soft copy we're referring to application or even software okay so on software can either be yeah a software it is just uh, something that you cannot touch but it, it, it can be just be stored and processed on an electronic device then we have what we call another application of network is uh, information sharing you can share information from uh, anywhere where you are across the globe because it is easily access accessible from anywhere using file database as well as search capacity which is ww the worldwide yeah then um, can also apply network in uh, communication via email messages broadcasting like the way we are doing it via like as in recording the lecture session and sending uploading the video so that you can be able to watch it at your own pace then uh, remote computing also it can be uh, applicable okay then also distributed processing that is the grid computing okay so now let's look at the network uh, topology so network topology is just um, it is defined it defines the way in which computers printers and other devices are connected to a network topology so this describes just the layout of uh, the wire and the device as well as the path that are used by data transmission so when you look at what we have here we have this is the bus topology then this is the ring topology and this is the star topology and then down here we have what we call the extended uh, star topology and this one it is just a mesh topology okay so topologies these are just um, ways of connecting a computer to printers or uh, any other devices okay so let's start with the first one which is the bus topology what is it used for the bus topology it is commonly referred to as a linear bus of all device on a bus topology that are connected by one single cable okay so that's what a, a bus topology is then a star and the trip topology so if you look at this diagram that we have here we have the star and the tree topology 
So the start topology is the most commonly used architecture in the Ethernet LAN, the local area networks, okay, yeah. Then uh, when it is installed, the start topology resembles the spokes in a bicycle wheel. So it just resembles those spokes that are found within the bicycle wheel. So that's what it resembles. So the large network use so large network use the extended star topology, which is also called the tree topology. When when uh, when they use within the area device, that field is the frame or pack or packet like bridges to switch and routers. This topology significantly reduces the traffic on wire by sending the packet only to the wire of the destination this, uh, the, uh, to, of the destination host okay then we have the ring topology the ring topology just like the way it is appearing there it's appearing in a ring formation okay so this one is the firm uh, travel around the ring uh, stopping each node if a node wants to transmit data, it has the data as well as the destination address to the frame, okay? So the frame then continues around the ring until it finds the destination code that takes the data out of the frame, okay? So if you can see on the diagram what I'm just, uh, this is what we're talking about of this ring topology. We have a single ring, which is just, uh, it connects all device on a network share just on a single cable using just a single cable it usually connects all device then we've got the dual ring the dual ring this one is just uh, the topology that allows data to be sent in both a direction okay then let's look at the mesh topology mesh topology it connects almost all data device to the nodes of each other for the redundance and the fault tolerance so it is used in wild uh, in um, in wide area networks okay and to inter interconnect the local area networks for the mission critical networks like those that are used by the banks as well as the financial institution okay then it's also implemented like implementing the mesh topology is expensive and uh, difficult okay then what are some of the network components number one we have what we call physical media interconnecting device as well as the computer working software and application okay so what are these working medias so working medias these can be used as simply as uh, the means by which signal or data can be sent from one computer to another either by cable or just wireless means okay so let's look at these so when you look at this cable here, this is just the outer jacket, then the overall shield, then we have the pair of uh, shield, then we have the twisted pair, as well as the color-coded uh, plastic insulators, okay. Then we have the STP connector, which is, um, then this one, it has the speed throughout 10 to 100 millibytes per second. Then it goes the cost per node though is just moderate expensive. Okay. Then um, the media and connected size. This one you can you use medium or even large, medium, medium to large. Then the maximum capacity of these cables, the short cables, they usually like it goes up to just hundred uh, meters short, like just to connect within the local area network yeah just like in a class in a classroom or in a computer library and one mode okay then working device we have uh, the hub the switches the routers the wireless access points as well as the um, the modem the modems yeah modems okay so computer client savers, okay. So a computer client savers, it has uh, a saver with three clients, with three clients, okay. Now a client to save a network is just an arrange, it's just an arrangement network service that are located in a dedicated computer whose only function is to respond 
to the request of the client. Then we have what we call the saver. Uh, the saver. So the saver contains the file or print application, security, and other services in a central computer that is continuously available to respond to client request. Okay. Then we have the networking protocol or the TCP and the IP. Okay. So let's look at the diagram that we have here. So application, then we have transport network and network interface. So in the file transfer, we have file transfer can be transmitted, emails can be sent, remote login, like login in the net, you can use it, and also network management, how to manage your network, and also how to name the management domain service. So application, we have transport uh, network as well as uh, network interface where we have which are connected to application and all these other devices. Okay. Then application. We use computer networking. Some of the applications that are used in computer network networking is emailing, searchable data like using on the website, the e-commerce like we know the Alipay, Alibaba Pay. When you look at all that, um, that is just an e-commerce, which is just an electronic commerce, buying and selling just of goods online. Then you get uh, news groups as well as the inter -teref uh, telephone that is uh, the uh, the VoIP. Then we have the video conference where you can just like Zoom meetings. Then we have chat uh, the chat groups, the instant messenger as well as the internet radios. Okay, so. What is networking? This is one of the, it's a billion dollar net uh, question. So networking is just the correction of computing device connected in order to communicate and share resources. All right, so we are sharing resources using the computer. Okay, so connection between the computing device can be physical using the wire or a cable or wireless using the radio waves or the infrared, okay. I have a question for you. Can you name some of the device in a computer network? Mm -hmm. You can pause the video and type your answers in the comment box below. Okay, so let's move on. Networking. We have the node or the host. It is just any device or a network. Data transfer, that is just the bandwidth. Bandwidth. This is just the speed at which data is moved from one place to another on a network. Then I've got another question. You can still pause the video and then give me the answer in the comment box below. Why is the bandwidth so key? Why is it that the bandwidth, the one that is used to transfer data rate, which is just the speed in which data is moved from one place to another. Why is it a key factor in computer networking? Okay, that's your question. I'll be waiting for the answer. Now, let's look at networking. Networking, we can, as we can say, computer network have opened up and <clears throat> the entire, they've just, Computer network have opened up the entire for frontiers, the entire frontiers in the world of computing, which is called the client server models. Okay, so networking, computer networking, it has just opened up the entire frontiers, the frontiers of the world of computing. This one is called client or server model. So we have the client, which also requests to the server. Then the server also gives the response to the client. Okay, so this figure, it is so important because it gives us what really goes on in computer networking, where a client will request the information from the save from the server, which is the host, and then the host will respond. Then this way we can say communication is taking place. Okay. Then let's look at networking. So some of the component features that are involved in networking. So to start with, we have what we call protocol. Protocol is just a set of rules that defines how data is formatted and processed on a network. 
okay then we have a file server a file server is just a computer dedicated to in to storing and managing files for a com for a network a user then we have the website server a website server is just a computer dedicated to respond to requests of web pages then we have the p2p model this one is just a decentralized approach that shares resources and responsibilities among many peers in computer okay now then we have what we call the types of computer like types of uh, computer networking we have what we call the lan which is just abbreviated as in the local which is just the local area network abbreviated as in the lan this one is a network that connects a relatively small number of machine in a relatively closed geographical area then we have the ring topology ring topology connects all, all nodes all nodes in a closely loop on which a message travels in one direction just the ring then we have the start topology the start topology is just the center around the node to which all other to which all other are connected through which all messages are sent then we have the bus topology so the nodes are connected in a single communication line that carries me messages in both direction okay so type of uh, computer networking so we have this part here where you are connecting your computer devices this one it's a ring topology you can com connect about uh, six computers together or you can use what we call a star topology where you can connect six computers again together then you can use what we call the bus topology where you can com connect uh, six computers together again okay then what is an ethnet an ethnet is just an industry an industry standard bus technology for local area network okay now let's look at the types of uh, network then again we have the wide area network so the wide area network this is the network that usually connects the local area networks and other over over uh, a, a potential large geographical distance then we have a metropolitan area network which is just known as the man so the wide area network just like i was saying this one is really connects um, it connects um, just the places like where you are like just this one it just connects just areas within areas it's a network that you really covers within the areas then we have the metropolitan area network which is also known as man so this kind of communication it is just infrastructure that have been developed in around large cities okay so this one it is used like uh, countrywide and across the globe and then we have what we call the gateway which is just one particular setup that handles all communication going between the local area network and other networks okay so so now let's look at this uh, important diagram here on the gateway where we have the local area network connected across a distance to create a wide area network so we have about um computers that are connected eight uh six computers that are connected in a gateway and then we have sending information to the gateway to connect other six computers so these computers they'll be sharing or having similar kind of information all together then the uh, types of uh, networks again we have internet so internet is just a wide area network that spans the planet so now i can ask a billion dollar question to say so who owns the internet mm. i'll need an answer in the comment box below and ensure to subscribe to my youtube channel for more interesting videos about computer networking and other health related uh, videos okay then 
we have the internet connection where we have wireless network. This is just the network in which devices communicate with other nodes through the wireless access point. Or you can use uh, the Bluetooth as well as the technology that is used for wireless communication over a short distance. So this one like Bluetooth can only be used over just a short distance. Continuation of internet connectivity. Okay, so we have what we call the internet backbone, which is just a set of high speed network that carries internet traffic and it provides companies such as the AT and T and the Verizon GTE, the British Telecom, as well as the IBM. So internet service. This one, what it usually does is that it sends the internet service provider which is abbreviated as in the isp so the isp here we're just looking at um, an organization that provide access to internet okay right 